In my previous video I made a floating Rima holder that I entered into Emma's Spare Room Machine Shop Tool Making Competition 2020 and I've had a chance to use it a little bit and it works very well. One thing I wasn't particularly happy with was the, um, the taper on the chuck carrier and the taper or shall I say matching taper on the inside of the collar. And when you get a good look at this, I don't know if it comes out on camera, but there are two lines of contact. There's a, a heavier line at the front and a, a fainter line towards the rear, showing the, the contact between the two surfaces. So it's not matching perfectly. Now the tool works fine, but I would like to try and improve that. So I thought I would um, try and lap those together. See if I can get you a better shot inside there. So to try and lap these tapers together, I've got a bit of aluminium which has been turned to a diameter that fits the bore of the collar very nicely. And this is obviously faced off square. Make sure there's no dirt on there. So I've put a slot in to engage with the drive pins so that will drive when the when the chuck turns that will drive the chuck carrier. And I can put the collar over the top. And if I hold on to that. I should be able to lock those two together. That's the idea anyway. So I've got some green medium grade uh, time saver locking compound. I've mixed it in with some WD-40. So I'll spread some on here. So here we go. I definitely feel it biting in there. The good thing about the time saver is that as it cuts it disintegrates so it doesn't get embedded into the material. Well, it's definitely cutting. Need three hands. Okay. It's migrated to the down to the diameter here. You know, you can definitely see two uh, darker coloured lines where it's cutting. Um, they're pretty even, so we try and grind that in so we get a hundred percent contact. So we do seem to be getting some wider contact pretty much all the way across.
Yeah, we've got good contact all the way around, but that looks a bit. Okay, to mix up this time saver combo, I'll just stick a little bit of uh, WD-40 in the dish. A little bit of combo on a, on a stick. Doesn't take very much. And that's it. So that's the extra fine. So I'm just giving it a bit of a clean up with some scotch plate. Put a bit of a shine on it. Looks nice, looks much better. There we go. So the way I'm holding this is just with the parallel uh, two most table socket. So these are very handy to have around the shop if you need to machine some most table tooling or anything. You can hold it in the socket and then hold it in the chuck. Okay, that's it back together. Put the chuck back on. So as you tighten it, just support the chuck a little bit. And that's it lovely and solid. And you can use a pin wrench although it's not been necessary. In fact I can only get very little extra. But that makes it really solid. This is a 6.5 So this is 9.8 So this is a 10mm reamer with an H7 hole tolerance and it's got GB so presumably that's made in Great Britain so it must be good.
So this is a bit of uh, ground stainless steel. So I'll just check the size. That's actually 9.99 millimeters. So slightly under, it's about three tenths of a thou under. See what it fits like. Oh, it's lovely. There is some resistance there as you push it in. Pull it out. Music. So I have found a dowel. See what size that is. That's exactly 10 millimeters. That is a no player fit. That is a no player fit. No player fit. No player fit. I can't detect any player in there whatsoever. Wow. That's just perfect. It doesn't give the same pop though. So this dowel doesn't make such a nice popping noise when you pull it out of the hole because it's got a flat ground on which uh, is an air relief. So a few people have asked me if there's any drawings. There wasn't, there was only a sketch. But I've done some drawings. So there's three sheets. So if anybody wants a set then just uh, send me an email via YouTube. And I'll forward them on to you in a PDF format. And if you're feeling generous, a small contribution to my PayPal account would be much appreciated, but not uh, expected. Thanks for watching, see you next time.